I've been thinking. All the stuff I've been making is, apart from a, a possibly a building or something, is um, war-based. Which is a bit strange, isn't it? What? We'll look into this another day. But why are those things to do with war so interesting to make? It's not that I'm the biggest fan of war, but things like a flying fortress is an, a, a totally bizarre object. So I thought I'd move on. I'd try and find something else. Uh, so here we are with the son of Frankenstein. That's just a funny little piece of paper with the number on it. And here he is. Um, a kind of vinyl model. can't remember what it's called. Anyway, never made one of them before, ever. Well, so I've got the son of Frankenstein. Uh, and then i also got this. Which is some weird puppet thing from Tales from the Crypt. But again, as a vinyl model. He's huge. And has very few parts. He is mostly... Mm, a paint job. Let's just look at the difference. Uh, and then I thought, oh, there's all those old Aurora things. There was a, an Aurora model of Frankenstein that was quite good. Simple, but good. And um, I got a hold of a couple of those. We'll look at those another day. And then I thought, yeah, Frankenstein, Crypt, all of that. We're still dealing with death, aren't we? And probably some destruction. So in the end, I found this. A submarine. A non-military submarine. A strange-shaped submarine. A submarine that could almost be a spaceship. Uh, by the remarkable and very unusual Hasegawa. So we're going to make that. How about that? Makes a change. And here it is, sort of in its own right. Um, first thing that struck me is how very different the graphics and layout is. It's really quite refreshing in many respects. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm enjoying it. Lots of blurb in Japanese, which I can't read. And then is some images of what you get and there's the parts so actually not too many thank goodness I did rather dread that this was going to be one of those gigantic fiddly things that would take or would be like 590 something parts and it would take centuries to do which at the moment I just don't feel I've got the strength for but thankfully it's a small tidy little model. Uh, nice clear uh, whatever they're called. This is late at night and my vocabulary has vanished. Instructions. Mm, so there's the, we'll, we'll probably get to see more. And the parts. And I haven't even prepared uh, opening the bag. So we'll do that in a second. You get a nice aquatic version of the kind of aircraft stand with a hint of waves about it. Can you see that? Look at that. And a bubble. Uh, and then you get this, which I don't know what it is, but it's got holes punched in it. So you put it in your file. More images, which is always very handy. And a lot of Japanese. And more Japanese. Oh, I, did, I did look at this. I love it. Look at the little graphics. They're not emojis. Uh, I'm very bored of emojis now. So the questioning person has a question mark hairstyle. And a um, quizzical look about them. And the person answering it has a Hercule Poirot moustache. And a sort of graduate's cap. Mortarboard thing. Oh, and then there's all. All about going up and down and going left. Brilliant stuff, no idea. And then some of these markings. It's all very different. 
in a familiar kind of way. Parts, parts, and more parts, and some orange parts. It's very uh, nice, clear white plastic actually. Sometimes they're, they're a bit iffy white, um, and it's it's got a bit of flex to it, but it still seems quite crisp and strong. So it should be good. And there's the hull. Although I think I noticed in the instructions it said fuselage. There we go. I'd call it a hull. I think I need to do some painting because there's lots of little bits that kind of protrude out. You don't want to go mucking up the white surface with uh, latter painting. Mind you, I mean, it looks great all crisp and clear, doesn't it? But wouldn't it be fun to give this one a bit of weathering? Anyway, I won't. Well, if it all goes wrong, I will. <laughs> um, suddenly, it all comes together. I didn't... I couldn't imagine it would move this fast. And things virtually clip together. Oh, they do, don't they? The top is supposed to come off. I've only really, you know, sat that on top. So here's all kinds of little bits that just slot in. It's a remarkably well-crafted model. Um, just a little bit of glue for the propellers and a little bit of paint there. They've got to be black, they've got to be silver, and it, it's all virtually done. Absolutely remarkable. I mean, you know, pull that off and that bit comes off, but there it is. Oh, I'm really surprised. That, that kind of simplicity and quality of craftsmanship is very, very refreshing. So it's not just a question of enjoying this, I'm kind of, I'm feeling good about it all round. Something's going to go wrong somewhere, isn't it? It'll be me. I'll spill something horrific all over it. Never mind. Anyway, I haven't done it yet, so it's good. All is well. Stop rambling, man. So with a few loose bits tidied up and some prep, 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 prep good lord, propellers put in here and there. Can we see any? Somewhere in there. Uh, there's a big one, like a like a fan that goes in at this back end, and then these parts all come together at the front. So it's moving on swiftly, and uh, got a lot of silver bits and a couple of black bits. So we're off and running. I just realised that I think I need to put these on first, which should all go very nicely. Those, um, oops, pins and sockets all fit the light. Come on, pins and sockets all fit together really well. So it should push together, and then a little bit of glue just to hold. Yeah, waving the camera around, hold the bits and pieces in place. So there we are with the, those two large pieces on, little detail pieces to be added. And then I've got to get this propeller on at the back. Hello. Suddenly it's got this far, it's even got markings on it. Um, it virtually made itself this one, which makes a very nice change from some of the things I've been working on lately. Uh, and there it is on the stand too. Gets a bit of a wobble, which is not very undersea like, but uh, yeah, this has been fun. So I've just got a couple of bits of paint to put on it, dots here and there, uh, and that will be it. There's something not right about this, isn't there? <laughs> Definitely not the undersea world of Jacques Cousteau or anybody else. 
I'm getting a vague hint of Steve Z soon, to be quite honest, but apart from that, uh, I'm going to have to do something else for this backdrop, or for a setting for this model. Ah, oh, well, then we've got a helicopter coming. Right, there it is done. Uh, a little bit of damage to one of the markings just there. There's the big hand again. Um, that's my fault, being clumsy outside. And otherwise, it is a really good model. It goes together very well. It's very simple, but very rewarding to uh, do. So let's give it a bit of a spin round. So, uh, I mean, it, it has an air of sci-fi about it, I have to say. But then these things do. They're going into deep space rather than outer space. Uh, it's a remarkable thing. I suppose if I were clever, I would see if there's any more kind of science and tech models out there. Um, but sometimes I'm a bit lazy and I, I go for me uh, Wellington bombers and things. But anyway, there we are. We all live in a bright, right and slight, bright white and slightly orange submarine which um, does remind me I probably need to buy a turntable <laughs> that's the first thing that comes to mind but secondly my lovely wife did one of these some time ago so I could do an underwater scene couldn't I did you enjoy making the uh, yellow submarine out of Lego? yeah it was ace it was ace. Is mm -hmm. that is that a review? Yeah. Right. How many marks out of ten would you give it? I'd give it um, well nine because it's a bit dusty. No, I mean when you made it <laughs> as a model, not now. We can du we can get the dust off. Um, it was good. It was good. Yeah. Out of ten. Uh, probably still a nine. And not what? What's what's the missing point for? Because it isn't the real thing. Yes, and the Beatles aren't real. And the Beatles aren't real. Mm -hmm. Okay. In our next show, we'll be dealing with necromancy. In a strange coincidence, or perhaps, nay, even um, synchronicity, I found these. just had a thought looking at these putting them together and the fact that you do get instructions we'll look at those when it's their turn but you get um, these funny little pictures you get the stuff it all comes in a polythene bag like that there's no box have I bought bootleg models